Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel guys. I am going to get baby Bryson changed out of this. He's going to get a quick outfit change just at least once. I just want to see him in some different colors. I love him in the cream. But before he gets ready to go into another phase of his little baby life, <laughs> I want to see him in a different color. I'm going to save this this outfit. I love this outfit on him. Um, one thing I was thinking about um, the other day is I really do enjoy the partials. I do. Um, I love the full body. And once you get a full body, you do tend to really, really be attached to having the full body. But... I don't know, there's something magical about the partials because you get to have both the flexibility, the posability, the cuddle factor, and the very soft baby. Let me see if I open that window, how that does. So I really, really like partials. Um, so yeah. I love the way he feels, but he is going to go back on the table soon because I need to touch up a few more of his shine spots type thing and then um, so that he can be in rotation for his hair to be rooted while I work on other babies. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I just, I really, really love Bryson and so I think that um i think he's gonna be a keeper i know i've been trying to think of like oh can i sell a baby i need to sell a baby like i really want to sell a baby but um i really haven't thought of him going anywhere and like i said i'm in this phase where i'm really really enjoying collecting on my level <laughs> if you want to say it that way, um, based off of my pay grade. <laughs> and, you know, it just, I don't know, it just allows me to have a little bit more room. And um, I'm exploring other things that I, you know, other different things that I, you know, had kind of got away from doing, you know, having a variety. I'm actually craving a baby from somebody else that I don't actually have to paint myself here lately. I am hoping to add one to my collection from someone else, but it'll probably be a private baby, but I'm just, you know, waiting for that to happen. But I'm really, I miss that rush. And I think me and um, another collector was talking about that, that rush you get when you get that new baby and you know you get the box opening and it's just like I don't know it's just it's just a really good feeling this hat wouldn't match what he's going to wear but um the good thing about the ball babies is you can easily throw them on a hat and they'd be so cute <laughs> so especially with boys you can get away with a hat all day long but, you know, he doesn't have eyebrows yet, too, so his face might look a little incomplete. But I didn't put his eyebrows yet because I was thinking about should I try rooting them or not. And then I tried painting them at one point and it just wasn't working out. And I prefer no eyebrows over botched eyebrows. So that was my thought process on that. Now, I can't find what I did with these pants that go to this. But I wanted to see him in these bright colors. And so we gonna just act like we know where the pants at. I got the whole sleeper thing that goes to it. Uh, where it's a different set, it's the same colors. But there's some pants, some like blue looking pants that goes to this. And it's packed away somewhere. Ah. <sighs> I've, I've moved stuff around so much and I, I actually end up buying another um, one of 
one of those little plastic bin drawer bin things so that I can um, store more stuff. I'm probably going to have to put it in my closet though because I don't have more no room in their closet in here anymore. I think I'm at the max. But that's the problem. This room gets still get messed up because I have more stuff than I do have space. And even though I started trying to organize everything, and the closet is pretty still organized, but I don't have no no space. You know, every time I didn't make room for, you know, if I would get something new, I had enough room for exactly every single thing. And every time I add one piece or two pieces to, to it, I don't have no more space for that. So... I didn't anticipate getting new things. Um, I got some pants that might fit. No. Mind you, these are frogs and those are dinosaurs. <laughs> but I'm going to put them on anyway. We're going to pretend like they go. Because the color is matched. And I was like, ah. Uh, trying to get this little sticky plastic thing out but yeah I was like we gonna we gonna have to make it seem like it it go because like it's the same theme and then I got some little like I said I got some pajama pants that <laughs> I got some little pajama pants I like to you know stretch out the socks so I don't bend make sure I'm not bending a toe back or something look at that <laughs> isn't that cute so I could just you know have them like that but I am going to see first if he'll fit these pants and I know they're pretty big these are really big pants they're like nine months but I usually put them on like Noah and the smaller babies and it worked so i'm gonna try it on him <laughs> see if i can get away with it yeah i just have to pull it all the way up over the tummy i love the way his feet are i love the way i painted his feet i will say although i'm craving another baby i do absolutely love the babies that i've made for myself here recently um it's just I just miss that rush of you know you get a new baby, open it up, you know seeing somebody else work. You know it's a different style. It's nice. I don't get to do that that much anymore. Look at you, look at you all warm and cuzzy, buzzy. Yeah, I know somebody had made a comment about his his little head needing hair and he'll get there but one thing about me is I love the way that Claire sculpts her heads and I know you know some people as usual you know sometimes people just don't like a particular sculptor or they don't like their sculpting style and so everything they do annoys them and I get it but I love the way she sculpts heads and so it doesn't bother me when they're bald because um, the head shapes is familiar to me with the real babies so it doesn't bother me and I'm not a person I think I collect more for the sculpting overall that's the number one thing for me versus some people sculpt more for name brand or um, they sculpt more, they not sculpt more, collect more for, um, you know, pretty or a lot of hair or, you know, the ability to dress up. I'm trying to get this plastic thing again. Okay. Um, and I'm not like that. I pretty much like, I pretty much see a sculpt, fall in love with it for the sculpting and that's what I love and I kind of just go with it from there 
I'm gonna see. Do I like it with the socks on the outside of the shoe or inside of the sock? But that's that's my thing. So, you know, when I see the babies in their natural form, hardly no clothes on, I love it. When I start like always wanting a baby like completely covered up, usually it's something I don't necessarily like about it, unless it's just a big baby and fun to dress. But I usually like my babies and hardly nothing or you know but it's getting cold now and it, it feels weird if the babies are not dressed appropriately and I know a lot of other collectors are like that I like it on the outside I like this on the outside more it kind of breaks up the the green so I really really like I like it But I do want to see him with hair. But I don't want to. I was thinking to myself. I was like I should root him first. So that when I get ready to root the next baby. I don't be. I'll kind of have an idea. Of which direction I want to root it in. But the next Alex. But then I don't want to be burnt out. And not feeling like rooting either. So. I decided that I would pull off because I'm halfway finished painting the other one so I prefer to um paint that one first I think he's adorable <laughs> I love Bryson and then my little one here which is always somewhere close by whether you guys know it or not I am going to so I had her up for sale for just a short period of time because I really wanted to paint another one and I try not to invest too much money and I figure um I never really want to keep the same um two of the same sculpts a lot of times so I was like, uh, maybe I'll just let her go. <laughs> Hang on. I was like, maybe I'll just let her go. So I uh, paint another one. But I couldn't really let her go. Now maybe when I paint the other one, then I might be like, okay, I don't want to keep both. But maybe not, because she will be having a twin. So, that is that. Definitely will be having a twin. And so, I'm just, you know, just feeling my way through and seeing what I like. And, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just enjoying different things. It's funny, you can see the difference in her skin tone versus his skin tone. Um, when she's next to other babies, you can see that she does have a little bit more color than sometimes it comes across as. So, but she definitely can still be Caucasian or um, a light biracial. It just depends on what you, which way you want to classify her as. But to me, she's just Ruby. <laughs> the next one I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can get some armatures, but I'm not sure yet. That's still to be determined. But I love the way she wrinkles. I love her silicone. Like, I just, I don't know. I just love her. And I do um, interact with her off camera. And so that's pretty nice. So she's like everywhere. <laughs> so I really like that. So I just, like I said, I just wanted to pop in. So this, I think I'm gonna probably be doing videos like all the time. Like, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm gonna have a set schedule for, for the holidays. So you guys probably be tired of seeing me and the babies, but yeah. So let me know guys, um, what is your favorite size baby to collect? Like, are you more of a newborn baby? Um, are you more of a bigger size baby? I also would like to know, like I have like a couple questions. Like, I would love to know, like, maybe even if you do a separate video and answer them, I would love to know, like, if you, what's your favorite size baby you like to collect? 
what's your favorite medium, silicone or reborns? Um, and what silicones do you prefer, full bodies or partials? Um, do you like softer silicone or the firmer silicone? Um, and for your babies, do you prefer awake babies or sleep babies? And do you like your prefer your like your toddlers to have a lot of hair or just a little bit of hair? And do you like painted hair or not painted hair? Like, I like to know more about why you choose the babies you choose in your collection. Like, what what drives you to say this is the baby for me? Like, what what thought process do you go through to get to that point? Like, are you more of I just love all this up to work, or you know? What what is it that 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 inspire you or or pulls you in? That's that's what I would like to know from you guys. So if you have the time and you're looking for a video idea, um, how about you answer those questions and then let me know that you answer the questions so I can go and make sure I don't miss your video. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.